Orhov syndrome is an esophageal pathology, which can be remembered by the sarcophagus's last meal before his execution, which is a boar half. This syndrome is described as esophageal rupture, the sarcophagus with a rupture in its esophagus after trying to eat this large meal. These ruptures typically occur from increased esophageal pressure while vomiting, seen here as the sarcophagus vomiting with increased pressure, blowing off the lower third of the sarcophagus, as these ruptures occur in the lower third end of the esophagus. Patients first complain of chest pain, the pain bolt on the chest of the warden, who was hit by the lower end of the sarcophagus. Another complaint is pain with eating, or odinophagia, the odinofajita, who was trying to feed this warden, but ended up hitting his throat, adding to his pain. On physical exam, patients can have subcutaneous emphysema from esophageal air entering the mediastinum, the sub-Q-tip in M. fist zebra, who was trying to clean his ears before all the commotion occurred. Due to the bleeding that can occur, patients can go into shock, represented here by the electric shock chair that the sarcophagus was supposed to be seated on. In minor cases, Borhov syndrome can sometimes be treated conservatively by closely monitoring the patient, making them NPO, nil per os, and giving antibiotics and IV fluids, but it is most often considered a surgical emergency, represented by the emergency surgeon. So in quick review, Borhoff syndrome occurs from esophageal rupture, which can be from increased esophageal pressure while vomiting, typically in the lower third of the esophagus. Patients have chest pain, odinophagia, subcutaneous emphysema, and can go into shock. This is most often a surgical emergency that should be quickly addressed. A sarcophagus on death row requests a boar half as his final meal. Unfortunately, he did not specify which half, so he was given the top half. The sarcophagus bites into the boar half and swallows one of the boar's tusks. On the way down, the sharp tusk ruptures the sarcophagus's lower third of his esophagus. He instantly started to vomit out the tusk, and the pressure was building high. The pressure got to be so much it blew off the lower third of the sarcophagus's body. The sarcophagus wasn't the only one attacked by their last meal. His cellmate was struck with chest pain bolts when his final meal turned out to be an Odino fajita. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our oral and esophageal disorders. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from esophageal adenocarcinoma characteristics and presentation, gastroesophageal reflux disease assessment, Barrett's esophagus, Mallory Weiss, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.